Hey everyone, welcome back to Titan Tutorials. Today we're going to be showing you how to remove the factory stereo from your Nissan Titan. Before doing any work with the stereo, make sure that you disconnect the battery before getting started. We've already done this ahead of time. The first thing we need to do is remove the faceplate uh, from the CD changer here. And all you have to do is take a small flathead screwdriver and you're going to insert that underneath the trim here at the bottom. And with a little bit of pressure, that's just going to pop right off. So we will work that around. Till all of the plugs have been removed. Once you get the faceplate removed, you'll notice that there is a small tether holding the uh, the faceplate attached. So back here is one Phillips screw. So just take a Phillips screwdriver, and you can remove that. Unscrew that and the tether will pop right off. The next thing that we need to do is remove the airbag light assembly. So this is down here towards the bottom of the faceplate. And you'll notice two Torx T10 screws, so you'll need a proper Torx driver to get those out. We've already unscrewed these ahead of time, so those will just pop right out. Pull those out. And what you'll do, and this is very important, is you'll remove the whole assembly. Do not disconnect the harness. Just pull the assembly off. Then after you do that, you can go ahead and disconnect all of the other harnesses and light assemblies uh, that are here attached to the faceplate. After you've disconnected all of the wiring harnesses from the faceplate, all you need to do next to remove the stereo is unscrew three Phillips screws that are holding the stereo in place. The first one is here at the top left, the second is here at the bottom left, and the third and final is here at the bottom right. Once you've unscrewed and removed those, you can simply pull out the radio, disconnect any of the wires, and remove it for your replacement part. This is what it looks like with the factory stereo completely pulled out, disconnected, and removed. From this point, you can go ahead and install your replacement factory stereo if you have one, or if you opted for an upgrade, go ahead and install your aftermarket stereo uh, into your Nissan Titan. We hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe so that you can see all of our latest videos, and we'll see you next time at Titan Tutorials.